when we think about frying a turkey, there's all different ways to do it, and some guys uh, do more than others, and and some people do tons of them at a time, and there's all different ways to do it. But when we decided we were going to do this here, one of the things I said was I wanted to try to do this to teach people uh, a way that would be as safe as possible. And so that's where we've come up with and used uh, uh, several different people's kind of uh, recommendations and put together our own a little bit to come up with this system. And this is a uh, eight foot ladder that I've also hooked to that uh, some rings that uh, and a pulley system so that I can lower this turkey into that oil at a speed that I can control. So I want to be sure that I can control that as it goes into the oil. I'm going to do a little at a time. You're going to see that go in here in just a second. Uh, right now what you're hearing is some of the moisture that's still on in from the bird is, is actually hitting in the oil because oil's hot. And so you're getting a little bit of that sizzling already as we go through. Uh, we're going to lower this in here, but how do I make sure that I've not got too much oil? How do I know how much oil to put in? And I can tell you what we did earlier today. We took this turkey before we actually seasoned him and we put it in the pot. And then I filled that pot with water until the turkey was covered. And once it was covered, I pulled the bird back out and I actually marked on the side of the pot how much moisture was in that, or how much moisture was still in the pot. And then I took that moisture out, that water out, dried the pot because you don't want any water in there uh, with the oil. And so we dried the pot and then filled with oil to that line. That way I know that when this bird goes in here, it's not going to displace the oil enough to make it overflow. The other thing I'm going to do or that I've already done so that we make sure that we don't have a fire if some of the oil happened to go over the top is I've actually turned the fire off. I've gotten my oil up to temperature to about 350 degrees. I've actually had it back off for about 15 minutes and I've let it kind of cool back down getting close to 300 so that when we put this bird in we, we won't have any problems with that. The frozen ones that, that, that you see the, the videos and things uh, for, that's where we get all of this oil coming over the top. If they've got a fire on underneath, then you get almost an immediate explosion or fire, and, uh, and you can really have some problems. The other thing I would suggest, you notice we're kind of out here with nothing around us. We want to do that at least 10 feet from any structure. We want to be on solid, either ground or concrete or whatever we're going to be on. Uh, we actually had some cinder blocks here, so we're up off of the grass just a little bit, uh, just to be sure we don't have any problems there. But that will help you do this safely. Because the last thing you want to do on a holiday or any other day is create a fire that then you're going to have to deal with that instead of having a wonderful dinner with your family. So we're going we're gonna to do that once the bird's all the way in there. I'm going to have a thermometer that we're going to put back in the oil to be sure that it's, it's uh, staying at about 325 to 350 degrees. We feel like it's going to take somewhere between three and four minutes per pound for this turkey to be done. And we'll talk about at the end where we're going to measure temperature and those kind of things on the turkey itself. But right now what we're going to do is go ahead and put this into the oil slowly. And then we'll start monitoring that and we'll turn the fire back on after we get the bird completely submerged in the oil. All right, we've got our bird in place. We've taken, we've turned the fire off. We know that we're about 300 degrees, maybe just a little bit plus or minus a little bit there. Uh, but we know that the fire's off, so we're in good shape right now. We still know that if there happened to be a little freezing or anything going on with that, I don't want to get this. You don't, don't want to just drop this in there real quick. And a lot of people, if they're using a little uh, tool to just 
lower the bird in themselves. Sometimes that gets a little heavy. Sometimes it's a little bit uh, cumbersome there to get that down in there and you gotta be really close. That's why I like the pulley system that I've got there because I'll be able to back off of that and stay away from the bird as it goes and the, the pot as it goes down into the oil. So I'm still going to do that very, very gradually. So I've got it tied over here and I'm going to untie my uh, knot. So we're going to drop this down. I, I also, one of the things I did before we started this, while the pot was still empty this morning, I actually measured this so it, this is going to drop just about right into the center of that pot so that it, it, uh, it, it doesn't hit all on the sides and cause some problems there. You'll notice the oil is not coming up over the top of that. It's not even really splattering up over it, but you will get through the center of the bird, through that cavity. It's going to kind of move oil up as it bubbles up through there. So you can see that at the very front. And then it'll kind of stop that as it, as it continues on. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead put a thermometer back in the oil so that I can continue to monitor what the temperature of the oil while it's cooking. You don't really want to let that get up over about 350 degrees because if you do the oil itself, we start getting closer to the boiling part of the oil or, and, and burning part of the point of the oil. And so, uh, if you're, especially if you're gonna do several, you don't wanna burn that oil and it get a, a, an offensive smell or anything like that. So I'm gonna measure the oil. Now I've gotta relight my fire because if I don't, I've got to continue to have fire. At this point in time, I've just uh, gotten the, the uh, turkey in there uh, obviously, the temperature of the uh, oil is going to go down because we put more than 10 degrees or 10 pounds of product in there. So I need my fire back on. So I'm going to light, relight my fire. And I'll get it regulated back to where that's running close to 325 to 350 degrees. And it's gonna take about three to four min uh, minutes per pound for this bird to be done. We said it weighed just over 10 pounds, so we're looking at 30 to 40, 45 minutes. <laughs> 